So Dr. Eberlin, would you please tell us what is your field and how does that relate to intelligent design? Ah, okay, sure. David, I'm a chemist, uh, but more specifically, I work with mass spectrometry. What is that? Oh, this is a really interesting technique. Actually, it's more than a technique nowadays. It's so important. It's a way to investigate molecules and to characterize those molecules properly. So it's, it's like you have a, uh, a sample, you go there with a the mass pack, you, you, you pick up a molecule, yeah. you weight it, you investigate it, you, you try to, to see which elements make up that molecule. You, see this, you can also have an idea of the structure, the three-dimensional structure of that molecule. You can quantify how, how many molecules are there. So it's a really powerful tool because I used to say that chemistry is everything and everything is chemistry. So if you have a tool that, that allows you to look at the molecules and to be sure about the composition, the structure, the, the uh, quantities, it's a really powerful technique. And how does it relate to intelligent design? It's really gr great because as Michael B. he um, said in his book, it was only when we opened the black box of life that we really discover how complex it is, how intric intricate, how many signs of foresight we see there. But we were able to do that because we could investigate life on the molecular level. We could uh, uh, have a, a great idea, overall idea of the molecules which are working in, inside that black box. Mm -hmm. And to do that, uh, most biochemists and chemists these days, they use mass spectrometry. Mm -hmm. And that's really interesting because um, we need chemistry to defend intelligent design, a lot of chemistry. Mm -hmm. uh, there is somebody that said once, evolution hopes you don't know chemistry mm -hmm. because it's on the molecular level. Uh, when you know when everything is working, uh, which molecules are involved, which kind of metabolic process are involved, when you know uh, how the DNA molecule is made of, uh, how the information is, um, the logic of this information is done, is exactly at that point that you understand that evolution has no hope at all for building all these uh, wonderful structures of life. And so mass spectrometry has been a really nice, uh, a really nice tool to investigate life at the molecular level. So I would say that this is the fundamental technique for science to discover the really truth about our origins. Mm.